Hi, and welcome to the show where we share the stories of the many who intersect with our healthcare system but are rarely heard from. My name is Kevin Poe, founder and editor of Kevin MD. Rate and review the show at kevinmd.com slash rate. Subscribe at kevinmd.com slash follow. Today in the show, we have Sophia Yunes. She is a medical student and she wrote the Kevin MD article, To Be Effective Leaders, Physicians Need to Be Trained as Entrepreneurs and Encouraged to Innovate. Sophia, welcome to the show. Hi, Kevin. Thanks for having me. We'll get into your article in a little bit, but first off, just briefly share your story and journey to where you are today. Yeah, so I'm a third year medical student here in Chicago, and I have an interest in medical entrepreneurship, so much so that I'm planning to apply to several MBA programs this year to complement my medical education. In college, I took classes at the business school and competed in an accelerator program where I worked alongside like non-health students to build a business model for a health venture. And, you know, additionally, some of my other commitments have been being part of the global medicine program at my institution and also engaging in community work, such as being part of the steering committee for our student run free clinic. And in both local and global settings, I have seen physicians try to build interventions from scratch to better the health and healthcare access of the community members that they work with. And for me, this eventually led to an interest in resource and operations management and ultimately a passion for entrepreneurship, which I feel supplements my medical training. So I understand you're just starting your third year of medical school. So during your preclinical years, tell me about how your business background supplemented your medical training. Well, so I mean, I think in the first few years, which is predominantly textbook based, You know, it was a bigger emphasis sort of on the health sciences and preparing in that aspect to be ready for the clinic. But I will say that having that background did allow me to engage in student organizations, take on leadership roles, work, you know, in community settings and, you know, help physicians that I work alongside make decisions about some of the interventions that we work with. So even though it might not seem like there's a direct parallel between business skills and pre-clerkship, I think it did prepare me to be more of a student leader. How about in your undergraduate years when you're taking all those business and entrepreneurship courses, how many of your peers in those business classes eventually went into medicine? I was usually the only one in any of those settings. And furthermore, even the mentorship that I had, I really rarely saw individuals that were clinicians or even in healthcare spaces. Now, did you have any role models or mentors to kind of guide you along that path? Because it sounds like there weren't very many among your peers who chose your path. Well, so I think likes attract likes, right? So I was eventually able to find individuals and mentors that really steered me in this direction. But I also think, interestingly enough, most of my mentors were actually individuals working in the advocacy space and individuals working with minority and vulnerable populations to increase healthcare access for them. And I think those examples was actually what led me to this like curiosity and exploration. Like, how can we improve healthcare access for vulnerable populations in a way that's systematic and effective. All right, let's talk about your Kevin MD article. It was written back in early June. It's titled, To Be Effective Leaders, Physicians Need to Be Trained as Entrepreneurs and Encouraged to Innovate. Now, for those who didn't get a chance to read your article, just walk my audience through it and share the story of why you decided to write it. Yeah, so I think my inspiration for writing this article came from multiple perspectives, but I think the biggest push came from the potential I see in my classmates and in the mentors I have, and reflecting really on how to maximize that potential. I think for me, even as someone so young in my medical career, it's really clear that like the skills that we need to be successful as clinicians go way beyond that, which is health sciences. A physician needs skills like being able to work the electronic health record, running large teams that solve really complex social and medical care situations, and even thinking about things like insurance as it relates to providing care. And I think the question that I was really asking myself is like, why can't we think in one more dimension that affects all of those other dimensions? Why can't we take it a step further, which is training physicians on topics about both management and entrepreneurship? Because ultimately, I think having business savvy doctors would be to the benefit both for the physicians themselves, but also for the systems that they work in and ultimately for our patients. Having smoother running teams, better communication within those teams and potentially more motivated physicians to fix problems or tensions in the operations that they see can only really lead to more effective value-based healthcare and better patient outcomes. 
The other point that really drove me to think about this was empowerment for physicians themselves, for them to be, you know, more fully aware of their leadership potential, to have, you know, improved critical thinking skills, and ultimately an ability to transform their novel ideas into potential to scale innovations. So can you give an example, a case study, or story of a business skill that you learned that can be directly applied to some of these physician leadership, leadership skills that you talk about? So, I mean, I think a really good example is I earlier mentioned that I'm part of the steering committee for our student run free clinic. And so that comprises about once a month, I head over to our free clinic and an effort to do so, like I've taken on roles in terms of like managing attending volunteers to come, it's managing medical students to arrive, and then working alongside the staff at the free clinic um, to ensure that we have a smooth running free clinic and that we're able to see six patients regularly every single week. And I think the fact that I've had a little bit of entrepreneurship and management training put me in a much better position to be in that role and to have better running, smooth flowing clinics. And I think ultimately that ends up being to the benefit for the patients because they're getting better, smooth running clinical experience. Now, from your experience or from what you know, do medical students get any exposure to business or management skills during traditional medical school training? Not really. I mean, I think we definitely get some lectures about, say, like the system or things that might be in place from like an insurance perspective, but I, I so far haven't really had a lecture that talks about management or what it might be mean to be an older medical student that's in charge of younger medical students or what it might be like one day to be a resident in charge of medical students. So that's nothing that I've ever really seen touched upon. And even now that I'm on my rotations, like I do have regular didactics that I share with the residents. And, and likewise, there's still a, a much bigger clinical emphasis and you know, even talking about things like how to prepare a patient write up, but very little about how to really fully take control in like a leadership capacity and be a more effective leader. Now, short of getting an MBA like like you're doing, what can medical students do to get a little bit of the, about that business training so they could become more effective managers, more effective team leaders? So I think the first piece, and, and it's like the piece that we always get though, is like you can read, right? There's always a ton of resources that exist out there to learn about this. But what I think I'm proposing and thinking about by having written this article is the idea that I think formalizing this skill set for medical trainees is only to the benefit of the trainees and to the system. Because I think physicians already engage with the same skills that entrepreneurs do, at critical thinking, problem solving, the constant need to manage resources in a brand new way. I think it's already kind of an inherent you know, silent part of the curriculum that we're secretly always growing and learning in. And what I'm talking about is the fact that I think if it were part of the actual curriculum, people could formalize it, they could label it and they could say, wow, I'm also a problem solver. Oh, I'm also somebody that has the potential to fix tensions that I see in the systems around me. And and I think that's, that's the biggest thing because reading or saying, oh, you can explore on your own time. I think it's short-sighted. I think people don't necessarily have the, well, I think people can read, but it's not going to give you the whole, the whole picture the same way that having somebody that has experience in this, even just physicians that work in management in the hospitals that they're a part of, just infusing some of that knowledge that they've built and some of the wisdom that they had so that people are better empowered from early on in their careers to, to have better control over what they're doing and, and the systems that they're a part of. Now, from your business background and the business courses that you've taken, what's one business tip that you could share with your fellow medical students that can make them more effective physicians and team leaders? I think the first is communication. I think, you know, always be aware of the presence that you make on a team, whether it's as a medical student or if it's as somebody in a position of leadership, building a well-communicated team is very important, but also being aware of your flaws in that communication, right? So, you know, just being aware of it. You can't fix everything every single day, but just taking note of ways that you can improve on a regular basis. I think that that's one simple thing that we can be aware of that all medical students could take from this. Now, when you talk about 
increasing business exposure in medicine to your peers, to residents, and to attendings. In general, what are some of their responses? Do a lot of them say, we should just stick with medicine and leave business to the administrators? Or are they certainly more receptive to what you're saying? You know, I think it's a pretty new idea for most of them. I think they're generally receptive. I think they're usually quite curious. They always say like, oh, I'd never thought about that. Or, you know, like, that's cool. Like, I would like to learn more about it. But it's because it's not centrally focused on the day-to-day workings of what it means to be a, a medical student, it mostly just hasn't fully crossed their mind. Or they think it's something that's for the administrators. So that's what I would say. It's well-received, but it's pretty novel. We're talking to Sofia Yunez. She's a medical student. She wrote the Kevin MD article. To be effective leaders, physicians need to be trained as entrepreneurs and encouraged to innovate. Sophia, we have a lot. I was actually talking to a pre medical student before you. Now, for those thinking to go into medicine, like you said, there was only a few interested in business. What do you say to those who, who want to marry business and medicine as they're considering medical school? Well, what kind of advice do you have for them? Well, I think my advice is I think to be perseverant in what you want. I think medicine already is a really challenging and really time consuming thing, as we all know. And one of the things that has really allowed me to continue to pursue this is that I'm really passionate about it and I believe in it and I've made time for it. So I've built a plan about how I want to incorporate this into my life and into my career. And as a result of that, I have built in time to focus in on medicine so that I can do the medicine piece well. And then I'm building in time to be able to do the business piece so that I can do both of them without having to compromise on either of them. And my final question, what are some of your take home messages that you want to leave with the Kevin MD audience? So one of the things that worries me as a medical trainee is that we're constantly hearing about burnout in the medical system and this need for wellness. But I feel like that's so different to the lively, energetic and excited students that are surrounded by me that are just filled with amazing ideas about how to improve medical systems and how to improve the patient experience in healthcare. And it really makes me wonder if management entrepreneurial skills could bridge that gap. And if these skills and this mindset could be a way into the future for physicians, that limits their loss of potential. Sophia, thank you so much for sharing your time and insight. Thanks again for being on the show. Thank you so much.